Thanks for tuning in to my gaming podcast, Gems in Gaming, where I play various games and tell different stories about my life, experiences, wisdom, uh, anything to help inspire and encourage others. You were born with the ability to change someone's life, and you should never waste it. If you enjoy, please like, comment, or subscribe. King Kang. Alright, what's going on, y'all? Alright, so today we're playing Final Fantasy XIV Online. I have not played this in a minute, as you can tell, as I'm doing the uh, returner status. Um, I haven't played in a while, and truth be told, I saw the the trailer for Dawn Trail, and I was like, alright, let me get back on the sticks. Let me get back on Final Fantasy. I ain't played in a minute. Um... So bear with me, cause I'm, I'm not gonna be great, obviously. But at the same time, I want to talk about the lesson for today, which I feel is very important. Um, it's something that is really needed for myself. But that is, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself, yo. So raise your hand if you needed to hear that one right like like how often do we go to our day-to-day -day with all these thoughts and ideas in our head of what we should be and what we should do um huh so i haven't played in a while but i think i got it on what we should be and what we should do and 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 how how you know we should be at a certain place at a certain time in our life and stuff like we probably got all these different ideas of um, you know, what we, you know, dreams and aspirations that we have for ourselves, what we, what we should and shouldn't be by a certain point in our lives. And, and the thing is like that makes life much, much harder and doesn't really bring you peace because off rip, you're already, you know, kind of deciding you're already limiting yourself. I say it like that. You're already deciding, you know, the path that you're going to walk and, and, and what you're going to encounter. And truth be told is you, we don't really know what we're going to do or where we're going to be at a certain point in life. So if we like limit ourselves and, you know, we make things, you know, uh, you know, we make things more than what they are. We're going to beat ourselves up a lot. Now, this lesson is mostly for me. Obviously, you know, I tell y'all if I'm saying something and, you know, I obviously are feel I'm obviously feeling it. Um, but but honestly, I needed to hear this more than anything. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about myself in this one, just, you know, simply because um, it's the best thing to do uh, if I'm trying to if I'm trying to share an important lesson. Let's just talk a little bit about me for a second. So. If you, it's your first time joining and you not, then you're not aware that I started my own business recently called Pitch Play Co. By the way, check it out. This might be a good time for me to edit the video and like put a commercial in there. I might do that. Um, and, you know, my business is a career coaching business, or at least that's how it originated. And now we're doing more business education, right? We're more of a business education um company and what that means is you know it's very difficult to learn certain things when they're taught a certain way so we wanted to just venture out a little bit and teach business education differently you know we wanted to teach it a way that's more fun interactive and approachable so you know that's 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 our mission that's our model um i don't know if you know anything about starting a business but i'll tell you something you're going to have a lot of ups and downs, especially in the beginning, especially in the beginning. Um, you know, those ups and downs typically come, obviously, financially. Um, they come when you start to have money troubles more than anything. But for the most part, um, even when that does happen, it comes when you're when you're looking for business uh, and it's and that business starts to slow down a little bit or you're 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 not getting the feedback or the validation that you need whatever the case is 
Um, this is probably why you shouldn't skip the cutscenes. I'm probably the only Final Fantasy XIV online player that doesn't know any other characters. But, yeah, yeah it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, so, anyway, like when you, uh, you know, when those slow periods happen, you tend to start to get really, really down on yourself. Now you're in the lows of the roller coaster. Now you're in the, the, the part of the roller coaster where you don't really foresee how you can get out of a certain situation. Um, and this isn't just my experience. As I've been reading, I also hear that it's uh, it's the experience of anyone starting a business. Um, you know, they go on this roller coaster when they get high and they feel great about themselves and they get low and they just start to feel like oh my god oh no what am i going to do why did i make this decision yada 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 so i i can go ahead and tell you straight up i have i've definitely experienced that for sure i have definitely experienced that um what 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 advice would I give to people who do or are interested in starting their own business? Um, expect that, you know, expect that things are not always going to go your way. And if you can accept that things aren't always going to go your way, then you're actually probably going to feel much better about starting a new adventure like starting your own business. Now, it's funny because I'm saying you know, starting your own business, this is what I would suggest to people. But let's be real. What I just said applies for everyone, everywhere, in any situation. Straight up. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, what you're doing, what stage of life you're at. Regardless of the position in life that you are currently in, you are always going to have highs and always going to have lows. And how you, you know, respond to those highs and lows, how you, um, you know, tackle those, those situations matter significantly, right? Significantly. So what's something that I had to learn to do in order to, to mitigate the low moments? Uh, one, having a support system is huge. A lot of people... Just based off what I read on the internet, uh, a lot of people feel like they don't have a support system. Um, you know, and some people said a support a support system is someone that's going to defend them and 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 what the heck? Oh, bro, bro, I thought I could, <laughs> I thought I could sprint. Oh man, we gotta do this again. Oh, or was I supposed to lose? Yeah, this cutscene looks like I was supposed to lose. That that makes me happy. So let's go ahead and skip that. <laughs> I'm forgive me, other Final Fantasy fourteen online players that Oh, and I get to be myself, well, that's good. That uh know the story very well and I'm just disrespecting the story by skipping everything, but it is what it is. So yeah, just from what I read online, I see that a lot of people feel like they don't have a support system. It's pretty crazy um, just to know that, you know, there are so many people who just feel like, who just feel that way. It's really, it's really uh, disappointing because I, I know how hard that is. Um, and how difficult it is to be in a scenario like that. Um, but finding a support system is significant. Significant. Now, if you feel like you don't have one, I'll say it took me a minute to find my village. It took me a while to, to find that. Um, to say, to, it took me a while to feel comfortable with who I was around because I had to filter out those that were there for me who was having fun in the season because everything was looking good and then those that were there for me for a reason um 
up or down, they're they're going to support me. A lot of the time, uh, people like this are, uh, or these type of people, are the ones we don't typically uh, expect. I say, why? Why would <laughs> the ones that we typically like? We have this idea of of. I guess you know who we want in our circle to look like, or, or what we want our support to look like. Um, at least I'm guilty of that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely guilty of that. I expect uh, a certain type of person, I guess, or I expected a certain type of person, and that ultimately hurt me way more than it helped me. All right? Instead of just being appreciative of who was around me when they were around me. I was looking for, I don't know, who knows, or I was looking for a certain type of person, I suppose. Um, which, you know, isn't helpful at all. Isn't beneficial at all to, um, you know, limit limit the support. It's almost disrespectful to, to, to feel like I should have a certain type of support and they should look a certain type of way in order to be around me it's almost disrespectful a little bit um when i started to let go of my ego and i started to just appreciate life a little bit more i actually found my tribe and was and was pleasantly surprised with the people around me and and still are pleasantly surprised with the people around me now when i get on those lows i have people that i can rely on that um just ultimately uh, really help mitigate me feeling real low and real, real bad about myself and the decisions that I made, you know, starting my own business. Um, leaving my, how about this? Leaving my job and starting my own business. Not just starting my own business, like really, really committing to, to the cost. Um, so, man, I, I am, it's taking me a minute to get used to this. It's so much stuff happening on the screen. But yeah, anyway, so that that is the first concept that I had to really figure out and really master. And I'm still figuring out and mastering. I don't want to phrase it like I have it all down. I'm still like, you know, trying to make sure that um, I'm trying to make sure that I, I've mastered, you know, understanding the highs and the lows and not getting too too bent out of shape and leaning on my support system for that so now you lean on your support system you have a support system or at least you're working on finding one people that you trust um and, and love and people and not people that's going to say yes to everything that you do man that is important some people would just like oh yeah you got it like yeah you you know <laughs> yeah do what you want you the boss you a, you a boss you know like come on man that that's not helpful at all. Real talk, it's not helpful at all. Um, I'll tell you why, because... Protect zero. I'll tell you why, because, like... You know, sometimes you're gonna need feedback that's not good to hear. Okay, you're gonna need some feedback that's not popular. Alright? And sometimes your yes-men around you will not tell you... They, they, they will not tell you the stuff that you really should be hearing. They'll just, you know, be a yes man. Those people is not your support, right? The people that's going to check you and tell you, hey, you screwing up. Hey, King Kane, I wouldn't be doing that if I was you. Or, hey, King Kane, like, this is why, you know, I would be looking at this a different way. Not everyone's going to do that, even if they're, even if they're not right, right? Just having the confidence in, in that, that it's a safe space that they could tell you their thoughts, that's huge. Everyone's not gonna be perfect. Everyone's not gonna tell you the correct thing. But the fact that, you know, they can trust you and, and tell you how they feel regardless of whether you're gonna, you know, agree with them 100% or not, man, that's huge. That's huge and, and that's a real support system um, because What's gonna happen on 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 the flip side when you want to tell them your advice? They're gonna you know they're gonna listen because you listen to them whether they agree with you or not. 
they're going to support, you know, they're going to listen because you listen to them. That's a support system. So that's helping you balance out the lows. Another thing helping you balance out the lows is, is, is stop listening to the noise and stop comparing yourself. Stop comparing yourself. Honestly. Social media is very detrimental to our society because, one, it's an addiction. A lot of people are addicted to social media. And two, um, people compare themselves to other people's perception or, or the perception of other people that they have on the Internet all the time, all the time, completely missing out and completely forgetting the fact that it's not real. Right. What we're seeing is is just bits and pe- piss, uh, excuse me, bits and pieces of people's lives. Right. It's not it's not their whole story. Right. I can't look at you and judge you based off of everything in your life, um, based off of one thing I see on the Internet, because you had, let's say you're 18. You had 18 years of experiences to get to that one point of that picture. And that was one moment of your life. I cannot judge you based off one moment of your life. On the flip side, how can I compare myself to that one moment of your life that that you have going on compared to all 32 years of my life? I'll be 32 in November. All right. So so that's why I like comparison. People say comparison is the thief of joy. That's why, you know, um, that's why mitigating the distractions is very, very important. Um, you know, cutting out the noise is very, very important. Um, you know, comparison is the thief of joy, but, but we choose to compare ourselves every single time we get online and we look at someone's profile, we compare the number of followers that we have, we compare the number of uh, or we compare the places that they're at compared to where we're at. And it's like, yo, that it's not helpful at all because only you can be you so no one else you know only you can be you you can't be anyone else so so you know embrace who you are and stop comparing yourself so so that's that's way or that's one way i cut out the noise right i I like focus on me when i look on social if i look on social I'm, i'm really looking at myself mostly sometimes i look at like obviously news um you know obviously i need to stay aware of what's going on um, but for the most part, I try not to make it an absolute necessity for my day and definitely not for a long period of time. Um, you know, if I look at something, uh, it's probably something I shouldn't be looking at. And I go to my wife and I'm just complaining. I'm like, did you see so and so? All right. It's not helpful. But at the same time, um, I understand that it happens. But but trust me, it's not it's not something I would suggest that you do on a regular basis. Uh, especially especially considering that it is an addiction um especially considering that it is an addiction to 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 be on social media constantly um you know i would i would highly suggest highly suggest cutting out the noise any way possible now not everyone is addicted to social i, I will i will admit that um, some people just use it just to use it, and I understand that. Um, I'm new. I typically, I typically would uh, tell them, but I guess we'll be fine for now. I don't know the mechanics or anything like that. Yo, is it not a lot on the screen? It's like either my HUD is trash. Or, <laughs> or, or, you know, the UI is just very difficult to manage. Uh, I'm sure there are some people that have mastered and created a good HUD, but my goodness, this is crazy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, like, you know, um, to each his own, right? I'm only giving you examples based off stuff that I've struggled with personally, right? Um you know I'm trying to follow the team you know I'm trying to understand what's going on here I feel like I'm not doing great 
only because I'm new. Like, I typically have all the timing down, but oh, man, this is crazy. So anyway, what are, what are you struggling with? Like, that's a question you got to ask yourself, you know. Um, what's making you compare yourself or what's making you get low, right? Well, what's making you kind of defeat yourself? You know, you got to cut out those distractions, cut out that noise, all right? That is going to help you not be so hard on yourself. You know what I mean? Um, and this is just, you know, this is, this is my experience, right? These are things that I've done and things that I had to learn to, to mitigate in order to successfully be in the right headspace. Um, cause, cause think about it, if you're running a business or forget running a business, right? Just, just put yourself, just consider whatever scenario you have going on in your, in your life currently. Um, you're not going to be your best self in that scenario if you are not in the right headspace. You're not going to be a great worker if your mental health is trash. This is real, man. You know how many times before I quit, I took mental health days and vacations? I didn't used to do that. I used to work nonstop, like legit. Like, like there was nobody working harder than me, and that's facts. Or at least that's how I felt. Um, I was putting in the work. I was putting in so much time and effort. Um... And, and you know, no one that I felt, uh, no one that I felt was was, you know, um, putting in more effort in me, and I and I pride myself on that, right? I pride myself on that, which is, which is, crazy, right? Like, why would I be so proud of that? You know, why would that make me happy? Why would that bring me joy? Just because you know. I had the mentality that uh, that's what you had to do to really be successful in life. So now when I quit and start my own business, I take that same mentality and and now with that same mentality, I found that I was defeating myself more than anything because I'm working like I was at a Fortune 500 company and comparing myself like I did when I was um you know like like I did when I was at a you know at a successful business that wasn't new um basically I was I was I was really really defeating myself that's that's the whole point I'm kind of getting distracted so I know I'll be you know rumbling and rambling but um it's all good that's what gems and game is for just just freestyling spitting some wisdom so so anyway um, you know, I'm telling you this because I just want you to know, like, I was, I was comparing myself, even without having to be on social media, comparing myself to a position that I was at, um, in the past, which is also detrimental. You don't have to compare yourself to other people. You can compare yourself to where you were at another point or another stage in life and equally, um and equally you know defeat yourself just by comparing yourself to where you were back in the day you know another thing i would say i learned about starting my own business is don't be afraid to pivot and this is this is also cool for life too you know don't be afraid to pivot man um what I mean by that is, is like, look, check this out. How many times have you been told in life, this is how things work, or this is how you should, you know, be, or, or this is what you should do. And you, you, you hear the advice, you take the advice, because it's from people that you trust, or sources that you trust, or whatever the case is, you hear the advice, but for whatever reason, it just don't sit right with you. Like something, something in your spirit is telling you, like, man, it has to be more than, than this. Um, that's because you have a purpose and you have a gift that you have to manifest. And and I, I'm not gonna say manifest, but that, that you have to, to to pretend your gift is a seed. 
right? And you're planting your in the 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 you're the soil. You have to water. You have to make sure that it grows um, appropriately, right? Everything that you do mentally, physically, spiritually, um, you know, mentally, you know, making sure you gain more knowledge, uh, making sure that you're reading. Making sure that you're learning new things, making sure that you're not strongholding yourself into one way of thinking or one, you know, one lifestyle. Um, physically, making sure that you're working out, exercising, um, you know, making sure you're 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 treating your body like it is the gift that it, you know, the soil that is holding your gift. All right, you're making sure that you're taking care of it. Um, you know, and 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 spiritually, making sure that you are finding that peace that you need for me i found that peace in god you know um you know the more i i the more i grow and the more i learn um i per i personally would would suggest or tell other people about god if they were curious um but i know that everyone's path is not my path and everyone doesn't um you know everyone isn't like me right um, some people, it takes them, some people got to find that, that journey their own way. And, and, and I'm starting to, to just appreciate that everyone has the freedom to live life and figure things out the way that they, you know, um, I'm, I'm just starting to appreciate that we have the freedom to figure things out. Um, they're standing here. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm, I learned to just follow <laughs> the experienced players. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I, I say that to say, like, my suggestion would be definitely get closer to God, me personally. Um, that's, 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 that'd be my suggestion. Uh, what? What? But, but, um, you know, the, the more important thing that I would tell people is you got to find that peace, you know, um, you got to find that peace in your soul. Anything can rattle your soul. Like, like any, it's easy to get distracted by things happening on the earth, right? That's, that's what my faith taught me. It's easy to get distracted by, uh just what's happening around you but but when you find your faith in god and you find that peace then it's it's far easier so i'm just standing here because that's what everyone else is doing oh my goodness oh my goodness what the hell um i will learn this match <laughs> i will learn this match but yeah, um, excuse me, I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> but not to get too distracted, right? Like, if you want to talk to me about um, about faith, I'd definitely love to have that conversation with you. But um, if not, you still need to find that peace spiritually. I've tried everything, literally everything. I've taken a lot, hundreds and hundreds of, of different um types of advice about life and I tell you the only thing that's really brought me peace was trusting God that's it I'm just keeping the buck with you um, so I say that's how I became better spiritually right uh, so now physically I'm making sure that I'm working out on a consistent basis um, uh, mentally I make sure I read and I make sure that I learn more and more I make sure I grow every time even in my own business right just because I have the business doesn't mean I'm, you know, the best at what I do. I still need to get better at day by day. Um, and spiritually, I, I, I listen to daily audio Bible basically every day, every morning, uh, right before, right as I go to the gym. Um, and then I listen to Eric Thomas. Uh, if y'all don't know Eric Thomas, if you need motivation, he'll give you motivation for sure. But yeah, I listen to Eric Thomas. Um, you know, I get in the right headspace, um, you know, and then I dominate my day, or at least that's that's the goal. Every single day, I make sure that I I, I do my best, right? 
And, and, and look, we talking about not being hard on yourself. Doing your best does not mean, you know, you putting up LeBron numbers every time you walk into your, you know, every time you wake up into your day. That's not, that's not the point. Um, the point is that that life is tough. Life gets hard, right? And and you can't, you know, beat yourself up because you had a low moment or because you're not killing it mentally every single day like like bro no one does no one no one can do that every single day everyone has that roller coaster everyone has that up and everyone has that down right and and you got to you know just accept the fact that you're human Man, once I accepted the fact that I was flawed, it even made me feel comfortable in, you know, making certain content, right? Like, it even made me feel comfortable doing gyms and gaming, you know, because um, I'm always like, oh, you know, I need, uh, okay. I'm always like, oh, you know, I need certain type of content or I got to make flawless content, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, why? You know, why not just be you and just figure it out? <laughs> no, I knew this was about to happen. Okay, cool. You know, why not just be you and, and, and figure it out, right? Like, why not just be okay being flawed? Um, remember we were talking about not getting distracted. Uh, you know, a lot of... Oh, my goodness. A lot of... Dang, I could have I could have avoided that, but I'm panicking, man. A lot of fear that I hear from people when they try to speak up or say something new is typically, I don't want to get canceled. I don't want to say the right, the wrong thing. I don't want to get on anyone's bad side, bro. Give up. That's impossible. There are people in this world that is hell bent on disagreeing with you. Like, hell bent on disagreeing with you. They gonna stop at nothing to make sure that that you are incorrect. <laughs> you know, if 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 they if they don't like you, they're gonna make sure that 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 you, you know. Um, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be very very um, cognizant of making sure. That 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 they disagree with you, uh, and they gonna make sure that you know it. And honestly, they don't care if you don't know it. They still going they still gonna not like you. Like they'll tell other people they might gossip about you, and they might do whatever. Like it's nothing you can do about that. And that's real talk. It's nothing you can do about that. Once I accepted that, even though it like hurt me to to hear that, and it hurt me to know that. Um, you know, hurt me to know that, that there are people that just want to see me fail. It sucks, but let's be real. Can any of us honestly, truly say that we never, ever, ever, ever had negative thoughts about somebody that we seen and we just thought to themselves, man, I really hope they, I really hope they don't make it or I really hope they stumble. Man, we are all guilty of that, bro. And we all feel justified. Um, and we all feel justified for for how we feel about, you know, how we feel about um, wanting to see someone not make it. But that's not cool, right? Like, <laughs> that's not okay at all. And if you're watching and you do play Final Fantasy XIV, you know I probably wasted so many different um abilities to do more damage oh my goodness this is gonna be tough uh this is gonna be tough i gotta get better before don trail comes up All right but 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 yeah yeah i'm just you know i'm just saying my opinion uh, there are going to be people that won't like you and it's nothing that you can do about it that's why i say you stick to your support system in the beginning, like I said. 
make sure your support system is around you and make sure that you are um you know surrounding yourself by the right people it's going to be trial and error people are going to come and go and this is not just this is every stage of your life people are going to come and go and, and you're going to have to figure out who's there for you and who isn't and the more you are dis discerning and the more you are aware of of the concept that there are people who are there for a reason and people that's only there for a season then the more i think it is easier to accept that that um that it's okay it that that it's okay <laughs> like simply it's okay don't be so hard on yourself and the more you're not hard on yourself the 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 more you're not hard on other people right the more empathetic you are right the more understanding that you are because you're starting to realize that we're all going through this journey we're all given different cards there are no there's no two identical people on this planet you know everything is is unique is a un life is a unique experience to the human living it and and there's nothing you can do about it but the more the more you know you kind of let go of this false sense of control or at least i say like this the more i let go of this false sense of control the more i started to appreciate other people and appreciate um <laughs> life in general and appreciate the ability to go through the ups and the downs so let's see um 36 minutes yeah this is one of the longest gems in game and i've done in a minute i mean i hope you guys enjoy it um i'm probably going to get off this but because dawn trail is coming back i've considered playing this more and and i've also considered streaming on twitch more i haven't really done that in a while um i got i suppose i suppose i will uh, I'll keep you guys posted or you'll see me on on Twitch if I if I'm up there uh, You know support the business if you're interested. I would appreciate it. My wife would appreciate it And you guys will help me battle the roller coasters of the highs and the lows um, You can get my course career tycoon for free. It's a game inspired course uh, We're now giving it away for free. It's our free master class. Essentially. It's our beta our beta class for um, you know something that we have in the future but uh, I actually am going to a conference this week to, to speak um, to potentially 20,000 people so that should be fun you know so yeah yeah I like you know in my head I feel like I'm nowhere close to what I need to be but then I say stuff like oh I'll be at a conference with 20,000 people and this is year one of our business so I can't beat myself up too much and I, and I just need to be grateful of where I'm at all right that, that's the whole concept and then you do the same and in your point you know wherever you are at currently in life you do the same and I guarantee you uh, if you don't be so hard on yourself I think you'll be more appreciative of where you are and more grateful of what you have all right y'all I'm out man I hope y'all enjoy and um, See you soon and God bless.